Let's go to question number 548. Split array with equal sum. This is medium question. Let's get into it. Given an array with n integers, you need to find if there are three fleet i, j, k, which satisfies following condition. First, mm -hmm, i must be bigger than 0, and then j must be bigger than i plus 1, and then k must be bigger than j plus 1, and then smaller than n minus 1. Second, sum of sub array 0, i minus 1, i plus 1, j minus 1, j plus 1, k minus 1, and k plus 1, n minus should be equal. Where we define that subarray L, R represent a slice of the original array starting from the element indexed L to the element indexed R. Okay. Let's check with example. Mm -hmm. Let me copy example here. And then we also need condition. example now one two so let's say i must be bigger than zero right so index must be zero one two three four five six and then i must be bigger than one here so it start from i here then j must be bigger than i plus one i plus one bigger so j is three and then k is j plus 1, so k is here. Does this make sense? Okay, cool. So in this case, subarray sum 0, i minus 1 is 0, i minus 1 is 0, right? Only 0. And then next is i plus 1, i plus 1 is here. And then j minus 1 is here, so this one. Next, j plus 1 here k minus 1 is here, final k plus 1 and minus 1. So if the, this value is the same, 1, 1, 1, 1, yeah, we need to return true. Does this make sense? Okay, let, mm -hmm, let's come up with approach. Approach 1. I'm gonna use loop in loop in loop. <coughs> Is I'm gonna use the IJK. Mm -hmm. So, uh, logic is the same as this one. I'm gonna start from here and then we're gonna make the J range, K range, and then I'm gonna iterate the loop in, loop in, loop, and then if I find the, uh, uh, the summary sum is the sequel, I'm gonna return true, otherwise, return first. At this time, I think if we use pro process n first, so because we needed to do k and then after finish it, we also needed to small loop to calculate subarray sum. Let's say k range of here is we also needed to calculate it, so we need to iterate this one. But if we use uh, plus prefix sum, that is learning sum, maybe could reduce, this one is 3, and then, but we also we needed to space, linear space for prefix sum, so we're gonna make some prefix ACC one three <coughs> four six seven nine ten. 
time may be very easy to calculate the range. In this case, range is the i minus 1, 1, and then j must be j minus 1 minus i. So 1, k minus 1 minus j, 1. So the last one minus k, so 1. Then we can calculate the mm -hmm. uh, sum of subarray with constants. So we just need the uh, n cube loop in loop loop. Okay, can you make the better? So you say, yes, we able to use loop in loop plus hash set plus learning sum or learning sum plus hash set. And this time time complex is we go and square and this space in the square. My approach is first, this one is same, and then mm -hmm. first I'm gonna select J first, so the mean is for J in, and then I loop i in and then i make one one is the first summary and then i also calculate two summary and if one and two is the same i'm gonna put sin is good set put into the c one so and then I finish the loop and then this time here I just make the another k in and then make calculate sum of subway third and then fourth and if three equal fourth M three in sin. I gonna return two. Otherwise, if I cannot find this first, the region, the uh, the, yeah, that's right. So actually, the sin is the, some kind of bridge with the two iteration. If we use the sin, no need to make loop in loop because first the valid is that we able to put here, and then this value is the same as this one that is the <coughs> the point we needed to return does this make sense so we're gonna use this one okay first i'm gonna make acc first value is nums first value nums zero then I'm gonna do I in range one two links nums. So then this is I gonna append to see recently some plus quantity value. So we made some and then since that. So what is good for J? J is the three right? So because I must be Mm -hmm. This is good. Must be here. It's JK. So, into JK bigger than 3. So, mm -hmm. range to start 3. And then, what is finish? So, in this case, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this one is negative 4, negative 3, 2, 1. This mean is things nums minus this part right minus one so this one must be included so this one is cannot so this one is there and then if we the range is here that means this one is not included that this one is included because this is the, the <coughs> exclusive so I'm gonna put length nums minus one Okay, and then let's make i. 
I must be the integer bigger than uh -huh, bigger than one, right? So it start with one. Uh, one, two, uh -huh, j minus one. Does this make sense? J minus one. This is j minus one, and then here. So one must be ACC i minus one. I minus one is this one, right? And then it must be j minus one minus i. This one minus this one. So CC j minus one minus i. C i. Okay, and then let's make k. K must be range is a j plus two because this is j plus one and then this is j plus two comma length nums minus one because it can be there are at least one item here then k three must be cc k minus one minus a c c j that is k minus one and j and the final is this one minus one that is length a c c minus one minus k ACC minus one minus ACC K. So three for three C. Okay, looks good. Okay, let me type check that typo. Things are correct. Height range one two nums correct. Then the pen this is minus one nums minus one. I okay cool. J range was minus one. Mm hmm. J range is a little bit, yeah, J, this one is not weird, so J must be minus 3. Mm -hmm. Minus 3. So this one is the J maximum range. Oh no, this is minus 4. Because this one needs an include, so this is, oh, here, here is correct, this is minus 3. Mm -hmm. And then, range of i is j minus 1 correct and then k is the j plus 2 to minus 1 here okay correct 3 a k j minus k okay looks good mm, first is not defined okay Awesome, thank you.